Hello and welcome to Vidra Embedded channel. Uh, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use the ADC single channel using STM32. So for that, I'm going to use the um, polling method. So in the later tutorials, I'm going to show you how we can use the interrupts. And if required, uh, I can also show you how we can use the DMA to read the uh, ADC data. So uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, I'm going to read the external voltage uh, using a 10K potentiometer. So this is how the connection diagram is look like. So in the potentiometer, so the center pin, uh, which is the output pin, uh, which is connected to the um, A0 pin, PA0 pin of the uh, one of the ADC channel of the um, STM32 nuclear board. So I'm using the G071RB. You can use any uh, STM32 board. It's not a problem. And um, so other two pins, one pin can be connected to 3.3 volts and the remaining other are like, you know, third pin is, should be connected to the ground. So that's all about the connections. Let's jump into the uh, STM32 cube IDE. Uh, I have already opened the STM32 cube IDE uh, with STM32 underscore nuclear underscore nuclear 64 underscore workspace. Okay, so let's quickly create a um, project. So to create a project, click on uh, right click on it and then click on new and then click on the STM32 project. So it's initializing the target. So I'm using the uh, so STM32 g 71 rb t6 okay this is based on the nuclear board so click on this and click on next and then give a name so i will give the adc um so i'm going to read the port right so port underscore uh, okay polling polling method we can give any name so make sure the target language is C and the target binary is executable and the target project type is STM32Q. So click on next and it will ask for the firmware package. So currently uh, the uh, the updated package is uh, version 1.6.1 and select only copy only the necessary library copy. Click on finish. Okay, once the project is created, um, so you will see like this, okay, in the pinout view. So uh, in the left hand side, uh, first we will configure the um, serial wire debugger. So for that, you need to click on the sys and then click on the serial wire debugger, okay. And then uh, you can also select the time based source for the delay. So I'm going to use this system, okay. And then uh, so I'm going to use the internal clock. So next step is to set up the clock. So go to clock configuration. So currently it is set to 16 megahertz. I'm going to use the 64 megahertz, which is the maximum. So just type the 64, which is the maximum in my case, and then click on enter. The cube ID will automatically set this. So it will take a while. Okay, now it is set to uh, 64 megahertz. Again, come to pinout configuration. So now we have set up the serial wire debug and also the uh, internal clock. Okay, and then now uh, we are going to uh, set the ADC. I'm going to select the single channel. Okay, since we are going to read only one channel because the port is connected to only one channel. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can read the multiple channels uh, using the same ADC. Okay, in this tutorial, we'll only uh, look at the, uh, the single channel. Once the uh, channel zero is selected, okay, here you can see that the PA zero is selected by default. Okay, and then uh, go to the system view, okay and then click on the double click on the adc and it will open this one okay the configuration parameter window here and then click on the uh, parameter settings so in the parameter settings like you know, decrease the clock uh, by dividing by four okay and then of course the resolution is a 12 bit uh, AD, adc resolution and the data alignment is right alignment and okay sequence is set to full conversion. and okay so the scan conversion mode will only be used for the multi-channel okay so uh, we are not going to use that now and the continuous conversion mode we can uh, make it enable and of course end of conversion should be selected as end of single conversion and the rest you can leave as default okay so in the rank one uh, make sure that channel zero is selected okay and then rest all uh, we can leave as default okay so that's all for the configuration here click on the save uh, it will automatically generate the code okay so once it is generated uh, the first thing is we need to start the adc so for that the function is hall underscore 
adc underscore start okay and uh, we need to provide the handle handle is the adc1 okay so once it is done so we are going to uh, configure the adc with pole conversion so hall underscore adc underscore polling so pole for the conversion again it will ask for the um, handle and the timeout you can give 1000 you can also use the hall max delay not a problem so i'm going to give the 1000 and then so we need to read the raw value of the adc so for that the function name is hall underscore adc underscore get value so and it will uh, ask for the handle you written the uh, so the raw value even if you hover your mouse here okay in the function so it will give you the description and uh, it is a unit underscore 32 t type okay so what we are going to do is uh, i am going to declare a global variable here okay which is of unit 32 underscore t so because it's unsigned integer i am going to represent as a u and then um, adc okay raw value i'll give like this okay so i will initialize to zero okay and then take this variable name and you can give it to you okay so this variable contains the raw value and i'm going to give a delay of uh, one second so function is all underscore delay so i'm going to read the raw value for every one second so that's all for the code uh, it's very simple okay so once the configuration is done uh, you need to start the adc and then just you need to uh, do the hall uh, like in a poll for conversion since we are doing the polling method and then just read the raw value okay and yeah so that's all so click on the project and then click on the hammer icon to build the project so the code is compiled successfully without any errors and warnings so now i have connected the um, potential method to the nuclear board so and then uh, to upload the code onto the board click on the debug button so in the debugger uh, you make sure that the de debug probe is the stlink and stlink jdp server and uh, we are going to watch uh, this um, raw value using live expressions uh, for that uh, you need to enable one settings scroll to the down and make sure that uh, this is enabled like uh, enable live expressions okay so click on apply and click on okay so now the prospect will move from c or c plus plus to the debug perspective you can see the program is halted here in the right side you will see a variables uh, breakpoints expressions registers and live expressions so we were going to uh, see this adc raw value uh, live okay so that means the moment you uh, upload the code onto the board so with the debugger we can able to uh, read the um, live value of the potential method okay so for that what i can do is um, i will add this variable okay raw value Let's click on here and then click on enter okay so currently it is initialized to zero so now upload the code onto the board so click this button resume button to upload the code onto the board so once the um you click on the board the code is uploaded and it will show the raw value currently it is set to maximum value okay now let me uh, change the potentiometer value and here you will be able to see the change in the uh, the potentiometer value and this is the minimum value let's exit from the debug mode okay now what i am going to do is i'll declare a one more uh, variable called float to read the voltage so it is a float type okay, voltage and initialize to 0 0.0f to indicate supporting point number okay and then so take this value so the way you need to how you will convert the the raw value into adc values so take this adc value and that should be multiplied with the reference reference voltage is 3.3 volts and which is divided by the maximum value of the uh, 12 bit adc so that is uh, we, since we have a 12 bit adc so we have a range of uh, 0 to 4095 and so now this um, so this is the raw value so using a raw value we are going to convert the raw value to a corresponding voltage so save the code again compile the code 
again uh, click on the debug button to upload the code so i will also add this uh, voltage variable to the live expression and then click on the resume button to upload the code and here you will be able to see okay the the voltage value corresponding to the raw value so now i am going to <coughs> change the potentiometer value again so correspondingly it will change the voltage so since we connected the 3.3 uh, volts to the potentiometer and we should see a, a maximum voltage of 3.3 volts so when the maximum value of the adc is 4095 and you will you will see a close to 3.3 volts so that's all for this tutorial uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching it.